Hey everybody, it is Tanya here. Welcome to another video where I get to channel a message from higher dimensional beings, galactics, angelics, and different friends of spirit and bring their energy forward into paintings with higher vibrational frequencies and light codes which really are here to help awaken your remembering and support you on your journey as you are going through this earth existence. And it's lots of fun. Um, and I just wanted to take a moment before starting to tell you a bit about what I'm working on today to say thank you for being here. The, my channel is getting really close to 1K in subs and I am so tickled. It's been a lot of hard work, but a lot of fun too. And if you didn't know, I actually do all of this by myself. So I create the videos, I do the art, I'm shooting, I'm editing, I'm putting it all together. And I'm doing this... Um, really without any adverts or monetizing the channel. So if you would love to support me, I would really love that too. And you can do that in a couple of ways. The first is by liking, sharing, and of course, subscribing. If you like the content that I'm doing, it's always great to have you guys here. And it really does help to get information out to people who might not have seen it otherwise, especially if you comment and begin to connect with other people in the community tab, because that way, we're all supporting each other, which is kind of the whole point of it. And if you're feeling um, a little generous of spirit and a little generous in the pocket, you can always donate too. And that is greatly appreciated because it really does go towards helping me to produce a higher end video, which is what I really want to do is bring you great content that you can really enjoy and, um, and hopefully find it useful in your life and maybe share with people who will find it themselves. So the donate button is in the description and you can always click my masthead. It's up there too. And if you do donate, thank you. And if you have donated, super thank you. You guys are amazing. I love you. Now, let me tell you what we're doing today. So this is kind of an exciting full circle almost because I am painting today with a group called the Elohim. And that is not to be confused with the Eloim, who are an upper caste of angelic beings. But the Elohim are actually a group that came forward when I first started channeling many years ago. They were one of the first groups of higher dimensional consciousness that I connected with, and they had a lot to say. <laughs> but primarily, they really wanted to present that they are a group of beings who are creator beings of the existence that we have. So they're kind of like the grand architects of our universe and many others. And they work with Source to create these areas where we can come in as creators and begin to have really interesting experiences and the ability to create through thought and emotion and energy. And so a really interesting transmission for you today. I hope you find it um, informative, but also a little bit supportive. And if you do, or if you have any questions, as always, just drop me a note in below. I love to hear from you guys and I love to see you guys connect with each other too because you're a great community. So thanks for being here and here comes the Elohim, a higher dimensional frequency group uh, to tell you a little bit about who they are and what they do. Greetings to the sentient beings connected to this being at this time, in this now moment. We are the Elohim. We are the group of creator beings who have connected with Source, with the Grand Creator, to artifact this beingness that you experience. We are what you would call the architects, the builders, those who have constructed this density in which you experience. We are part of this conduit, but we see this being as part of us, as another being of light, of which we are all interconnected, simply on different levels of what you would call existence, which in your terms would be connected to frequency and vibration. As has been used previously in a metaphor, 
such as a hummingbird with its wings that move so quickly your eyes do not see them. You see the movement and you know that they are there when they are not moving. You see them, they are static, you see the wing, but when they are in motion, you do not see them. And so is the existence of many around the planet at this time who are in fact in, on, and around are part of the makeup of this being who you refer to as Gaia, your planet. For all of you together, are part of her as she is part of you and this interplay and interaction is part of what allows you to have the experience in this density said in uh, more of a accessible language you are part of nature and your interaction is what allows you to enjoy your experience as a human in this physical density, on this earth plane, at this time, it is what gives you the ability to access so many experiences. And we are a collective of light and energy who have crafted these opportunities and experiences for you. We are those who have created your accessible universe that which you define as your earth experience and that that you define as other. For it all is all based upon your imaginings, your collective agreement uh, in the rules of this particular experience, such as there will be gravity, there will be a perception of blue sky, there will be a perception of this earth body, there will be a perception of a solar system. And so we have been working with Source from the beginning to create this experience for you. Now, of course, it is many layered. There is more than just what you are experiencing in this now. It has been said before through our fellow Elohim who is reading this to you, who is connecting with our energy and bringing it through in a language that you can understand, that it is many layered. So if you think of it as a stack of papers, which are all layered upon each other, each has its own description, its own writing upon it, each on top of or below the other, existing simultaneously, and yet each independent of each other. And so this is what is meant by the multiverse, the experience of the multidimensional. This is what is meant by uh, living a multidimensional existence. When you begin to experience more than one of these so-called universes at the same time. And there are moments of connection between, again to use this metaphor of the stack of paper, there is moments of connection between these pieces of paper where the two are connected. You might call them a portal or a bridge or a way to access through the astrals or meditation and whatever metaphor works for you, uh, it is all the same. It is simply connecting through into an alternate experience. And yet you are having that experience the same time you are having this one. So this is what creates for you the multidimensional existence. And you are simply waking up and remembering that this is an option. This is not something that you have to do or should do. It does not mean that you are better than. It does not mean that you are more advanced. It simply means that you are remembering that it is part of your makeup. And so uh, as part of the work that we have done and are continuing to do, we have created the structure of this for you to have these experiences to move from one to the other, but also the tangible of your experience. 
and not simply what you see outside of your being on the third dimensional plane, but uh, the actual ability to craft for yourself through thought and energy and emotion. For this is how the creation in this particular universe works. That you are able to focus the energy of what it is that you wish to experience and allow it to come forward. And it is not, again, simply a matter of being higher or lower or better or worse. There is no grand spiritual plan and path that you need to follow. You may simply experience what you are willing to experience. The growth is within. The growth is in remembering that you have the ability to do whatever you wish to do and beginning to trust that and beginning to allow that to come forward. That is the true awakening, the true ascension, is simply remembering that you have those abilities. And part of the design of where you are is the ability to experience, to expand your awareness and consciousness and abilities. And as you do so, your vibration shall shift. And as it does, it begins to affect all and any that are in your energetic field. And so as you begin to shift and move, this is the process that many refer to as spiritual awakening with ascension symptoms and the like. For you will notice that as you begin to shift your awareness, your consciousness, your focus, it is no longer in alignment with those around you who have been in your previous vibration. Again, it is not better or worse, it is simply different. And we wish you to know that this is okay, this is part of the journey, this is part of your awakening, is allowing this shift to happen and to know that you will all be going at your same level. You will all be moving at your own pace. And so it is not for you to teach or preach those around you to be where you are. There is great excitement and discovery of finding new ways of being, new information. And that is your discovery. And as you go through it, you will find others who are in the same place, the same phase of discovery, and there will be an instantaneous connection because you are having a similar experience. And it is the human nature to want to bring those that you are having had a previous relationship with, feeling uh, emotional connections. It is a part of the human experience to want them to have the same, to want them to come with you. But this in itself is an experience in learning to let go and understand that you are a sovereign being. You are independent and so you will have your own experience. And so, as much as you wish for those around you to have the same, theirs will always be different. Regardless of where you are in time and space and vibration, no two beings of light will have the same experience in the same way. This is part of the gift of beingness in this realm of free will, in this realm called Gaia, the earth plane. It is in this place that you have come for the access to so much, for the access to the energy and the information and the experiences that you can explore and create and encounter. It has been used before by our sister Elohim, who brings forward these messages. This metaphor of the bubble. And we like this as well, for it is easy to understand, and it has a lightness and a joy to it, this metaphor. All these experiences are bubbles. And if you can remember, if you were a child and you had the ability to play with bubbles, how each one has its own encapsulated little moment of time. And they swirl and they change color and they may be iridescent and they may shift, they may join with others and expand and become larger, or they may pop. And such is your ability on the earth plane. 
to have all of these experiences in all of these places, whether that is on your own or with others, whether you are connecting with their bubble of energy and creating a new one, or whether you are having your own and deciding that you are finished and so the bubble pops and on you move to the next. And so this is part of the work that we have done, is to give you a space and place that you can perceive as a solid density where you can create these experiences to have, to remember, to grow, to shift. It is more than simply the design of structure of realities. It is the energy. There is a term that is used by you uh, and many around uh, in this plane of energy being seen as a plasma. Uh, you may use that as a reference point. And so basically we have crafted a zone uh, where this energy is concentrated and this is energy of creation. And so you are simply tapping into the energy of creation for you are a creator being. And in this energy of creation, you are crafting it into an experience that you would like. So we are not simply creating the earth, the trees, the nature, the animals, the intangibles, the noble air, the gases, all of the material building blocks of your physicality and physical structures in which you are living. It is more than that. It is the creation of the energy within that you are currently visiting. You may think of it uh, as walking into a room and within this room are many experiences. One is included uh, being the earth and on the earth plane, again, there are many agreements that all beings make as they go into this dimension, this duality, this uh, area of uh, concentrated consciousness, so that there is a similarity which allows the players, if you will, uh, to be part of a grand experiment of experiencing. And in this place, uh, again, this are these agreements to allow the movement of this, again, experiment, if you like, uh, to be seamless. And so that includes uh, basics such as gravity and uh, that humans have a basic look to them, uh, that you are bipedal, that you are upright, that you have uh, uh, very basic needs and wants that are uh, common to all. And that there are very basic experiences that all have, uh, such as understanding uh, the spherical nature of a planet, of understanding uh, the interrelationship between the planets and that you have a single sun. And these agreements uh, allow you all to have a similar base experience. And upon that tether of agreement to branch out and do your own experience. And so this is part of what we have created. And part of the work that we are continuing to do is to expand this energy uh, for you to use and to mold into your own experiences. And also to know that we are uh, creating on other realms and other dimensions. We work in many different places at the same time as our experience is somewhat different than yours. It is based uh, more on the movement of energy and frequency uh, and other terms which uh, really do not uh, connect with your language at this time. But to make it understandable, it is again this idea of these uh, stack of paper and each paper is its own universe with its own rules and its own interactions and different frequencies. And as you uh, are connecting with these other sheets above or below, you are able to move into these other frequencies. And so this is currently an experience that many are having at this time. 
Uh, often it is referred to as the 5D, 7D, 12D. Again, simply names, simply a way to try to uh, label and understand for the human mind really does love labels to thrive on labels because again it gives commonality it gives a way to express an experience that others can also understand and so many uh, are focused on this ascension this awakening and believing that uh, the body and beingness is moving up into a higher frequency and while this is true in one way it is not in another for it is not that your physicality will suddenly blip out and reappear in a different experience. It is more that you are shifting into that experience as your vibration and energy begin to move. Again, like the wing of the hummingbird, you are beginning to vibrate a bit faster. And so those who are in a bit of a lower frequency are not seeing you as much. They are not connecting with you as much. And you are beginning to connect with others and see others that you might not have seen before simply because you are now coming into alignment in that vibration. In these higher dimensional fields, these higher vibrations, the energy is different. It begins to allow a different set of rules and interactions. And so many see this as highly desirable because the lower density fields are filled with experience of challenge and opportunities for growth, which the human does not find comfortable. Now, you might find this uh, unusual, but many of you reincarnated here on this earth plane, this earth experience, specifically so you could access these lower vibrational fields and these lower density experiences for they are not available uh, in many other places. This is a very unique planet, a very unique place to exist, and so it is highly sought after. And those of you who are here chose uh, to come here, wanted to be here for many reasons, to have the experience, to help others, to help the shift, to help uh, as all are beginning to release the old ways of being and move into a higher vibration, a new experience, a new experiment. For in the grander scheme, as you pull backwards in your point of view, this is part of what is happening. Gaia herself has decided that she has had a lot of fun playing in the lower densities and it has been wonderful, but now it is time for her to shift back up. Now, of course, this is a much more involved and complex story than we are going to go into at this moment, but that is part of what is happening and part of what you are accessing. And so she has shifted her energy and because you are part of her, because you are enjoying yourself in this experience with her, you are also shifting. All are shifting. It has already happened and it is simply a matter of remembering and very slowly beginning to move into synchronous vibration with higher fields. And this is what you are beginning to see around the world. This is why you have this experience of duality and the polarity so exaggerated in this time because many are wanting to resume where they have been and many are ready to let go of where they have been. Again, there is no right, there is no wrong, there is simply the experience and that is okay. But all will slowly and eventually begin to shift into different and higher vibrational fields for the lower ones are falling away and will no longer be accessible within this earth experience. And so that is a terribly simplified way of expressing what is happening. But we were called to come forward because we were here at the beginning of the experience with this sister, with this conduit although we do not like this term, for it is simply a matter of speaking with one who is part of us, one who is also a creator being. And many of you are. Many of you will be drawn to enjoying this art and enjoying these frequencies that are within the art and enjoying our voice coming through because you as well are creator beings and you are remembering. 
And so uh, we shall leave this experience, this conversation for now. We just wanted to come forward to uh, remind you of who we are, to share a bit about who we are and what we are doing. Uh, we wish to say that unlike those uh, around uh, the other higher vibrational fields and frequencies of beings that are here specifically to support you in your ascension, your spiritual awakening, your growth, and that of also Gaia and the beings in, on, and around Gaia. Uh, ours is simply to be crafting the experience. And for those of you who are connected with us in our experience, you will understand that this touchstone will also begin to release that information within you. And you will go forward uh, and bring forward the same to other creator beings. For we, like many others, are around the earth in a grid. And as we connect with each other, uh, we remember the grid and connect into that energy and light and become uh, much more strong. I, I guess you could say strong. We would perhaps say aware, much more aware of the role that we are playing. And so uh, easier to tap into the strengths of us as a group of beings who are really one being, but split into many uh, in this work. And so we remember who we are and this is the work that we are doing and for those of you that need the assistance as you go through this ascension process through your awakening we call upon you to uh, use your conscious thought and to bring into your experience the support the love the community and the information that you need whether that is through your galactic guides and community, whether that is through the angelics or other higher dimensional beings of frequency and light who do not use names, but to connect in with that with intention and to know that it is always there. And for those of you who connect with us as the builders and the architects, we invite you to tap into our energy and to become part of the grand work, the grand design and the evolution the never-ending uh, joy of learning and crafting that we are here to be working with. We thank you for your time, for connecting with us and with our sister and the work that she is doing to bring forward these energies and information to you. And we are the Elohim, and we look forward to speaking with you in the next Now Moment. So there we have the final painting, and I hope you enjoyed this longer than usual transmission with the Elohim Collective of Light. Thank you for your support, and if you feel drawn to donate or purchase some art, thank you so much. Every little bit helps, and I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.